the ten years guarantee plot election school price system. You make money, we make a machine. Success with Sundari. This is our slogan. So don't forget it. Now I have a question for you. Here is the stainless steel, and uh, this is aluminum, and uh, this is stainless steel pot. So how did you get the compound water of a stainless steel pot? How we do? This is our concrete system. Here is the pot body, and this is aluminum disc, and this is the induction water. First, we need to make the disc three part spot welding. And after that, we need to go to the furnace. The heat temperature will be 550 degrees. And after, we go to the friction screw press to make the impact bonding. Then, after, to be cooling. Then, this is the in induction pot finish. Somebody will be have the question, why here have the two pictures? Actually, this is true production, also can be made. See, is there any difference you find? Yes, this is a... This is the heating for the high frequency heating machine. And the, this uh, heating ring, it is for the furnace. For talking about our electric school press, we have the two types. This is the electric school press. This is the double disc friction press. Hmm? What is the difference? See, double disc friction press here has the two big double disc. And for the electric, this is have the big motor. And uh, here have the big the school gear. From the, our traditional way, we saw the this uh, double distribution press very much. But now electric school press, it is more popular in China. What's the any difference of between that? Just now, I'm talking about for this bureau and uh, this double disc. This is different, it is for the energy saving. The starting current is very, slow, is very low and has no impact on the power bill. It saves about, it saves about 50% electricity than the double distribution press and greatly reduces the production cost. And second, it is, it is about the maintenance. The electric school press is, a driven, is a driven by servo motor with a less available part and lower maintenance cost by more than 20%. No transverse with virtual force is produced, which greatly improves the service life of the transmission school lux and die. This is very important point. For the for the fish, for the double disc friction press, it is always for the uh, change uh, change the belt. But for the uh, electric school press, <coughs> for the gear it is a long life. So this is why the maintenance for the electric school press it is very less. Every time if you have a small, small problem for the double disc friction press, it needs to stop a long time uh, for the production to fix it. So today, I recommend for the friction press, uh, I recommend for the electric school press. We have a 1,600 ton, 2,500 ton, 4,000 ton. So, for these three turns, what's any size we do? 1,600 ton can make 150 mm to 240 mm. 
and the 2,500 ton can do 2,260 mm to 320 mm. 4,000 ton can make 340 mm and 420 mm. Sometimes 4,000 ton just to make maximum 400 mm. Why? It is depends on your aluminum thickness. Hmm. Many customers will ask will ask Crystal one question. Why a turkey machine 1,300 ton can do 160 to 240 mm, but you need 1,600 ton? My answer it is turkey machine recommend 1,300 tons to make a 16 to 24 cm. It can be done. But certainly cannot pass the boiling water test and the tensile test. Turkey's 2,500 tons for 24 to 40 mm pot also can be made. But it can pass the boiling water test and the tensile test. Moreover, it is easy to extract the straw for 35 to 40 cm pan or pot, damage the roll and reduce the machine life. The price of the roll is almost half of the price of the machine. So this is why. Why every time customer say, Crystal, why do you recommend a 4,000 turn to make, to make a 40 cm pot? It is not fair. So this is the answer. See, we saw the finish. This is the finish of the impact bonding. You can see here, the aluminum it is full complete. Just now, um, I, I was told you, if you are doing uh, 1,300 ton to make the 24 cm, you cannot pass the test of the boiling water and the tensile testing. So I'm taking you to show what's the test we do. First one, boiling water testing. Testing the bottom gap. This is the successful. The water bulb, just little. This is so successful. And now I'm taking you to see what is the fail. Now you understand why is the fail. It's too much water bulb. This is for the QC department. And last, it is the bottom pencil test. Here are the three features. So, follow me step by step. First one, we cut the, our a capsule for 10 mm. A capsule for the 10 mm. And here's the capsule, here's the aluminum, here's the body part. And separate each for 25 mm. And after that, make the 5 mm circles. Then test on this, uh, mach um, this uh, testing machine. The requirement it is inner or outside of the bottom strip must uh, more than 100 mm. Crystal talk about so much of the electric school press, but what is the advantage? Electric school press saves 50% power. 
Save a 50% power. What can do? What benefit you will get? J54 2500 turn and EPC 2500 turn. What's the difference? J54 it is the double disc friction screw press and EPC is the today crystal recommend the electric screw press. So don't be mistake. For the JP J J54 the power is the 220. And the electric school press is a 440 kilowatt. The capacity, this is just only for the average, 600 pieces per hour. And the power consumption, see, this is a big difference. The double disc friction school press, one day power consumption, it is a 1173 kilowatt. And the electric school press one day power consumption it is 587. So now you see what's the difference? Just half different, 50% power setting. Working day is six, 250 days for one year. And total consumption of the one year double disc friction press one year total consumption it is um. 295,300 almost. And the electric school press total year consumption, it is just only 146,000. Electricity cost. Now I calculate just only for the China. Each country has a different. <coughs> China, I change, uh, it is a point one eight kilowatt USD. So in every year, electric cost on the same production capacity, it is double discretion school price cost $52,000. And the electric school price cost $26,000. So you are the boss, you know now the money where to be waste. The power cost just now we calculate for the EPC electric school press. One year the power cost it is twenty six thousand dollars. And uh, for the double discretion school press, one year cost fifty two thousand dollars. It means you need to pay that for one year. So save the power cost for 26,269 per year. So you can use this money to for the new another investment. And see, if uh, I save this money, save this cost, every year I will earn more how much? First year, of course, you save $26,000. The second year, you will save $52,000. For the third year, you will save $78,000. And fourth year, you will save $105,000. And the fifth year, you will save $131,000. This is the big saving of the cost. Okay, now I'm taking you have a look. This is our China factory for the installing, installing for the electric school press. Is there anybody saw? This is rubber and this is rubber. So this is for the automatic one rubber match with the electric school press. Now I'm talking about the mold. Do you see the difference? Yes. The port direction is different. First one, we saw the left side. We call this a reverse punching. 
The pot, the pot mark is up. The second one, it is a positive punching. The bottom mark, it is up. What are the difference? For the reverse punching, suitable for automatic. When the rubber hand to pick up, it is easy to pick and press for the reverse punching. And the positive punching, it is suitable for manual pickup. Now I'm telling you to have a look. See, this is a rubber, and a hand position it and punch it. Look again. So this is a reverse punch and mold. Have a look again. Automatic systems. This is the hand of the rubber. And this is a complete systems. Hitting furnace, convoyer, and the rubber go for the press. And this is another rubber to pick out. This is cooling convoyer. So for the electric school press, it can do for the manual with the rubber with the labor pick and press, and also to match with the rubber. Match with the rubber, then you will save the labor. With the 22 hours working, it is suitable for the big volume capacity factories. So we have two ways just now, I say. One is the automatic one, one is a semi auto. Now we go to see. This is the heating. And after that, go for the press. Look again. This is a heating furnace. And rubber hand, go to the press. Now, we go for semi auto way. is the spot routing. So positioning the bottom gap and aluminum disc and after spot routing for the port body together. And the third one go to the heating. Now you remember this heating Way is different. Just now I show you the furnace. And go for the impact bonding. See, impact bonding here is used for the <coughs> not the reverse punching. It is a positive punching way. See, it is a good for the they good for the worker pick and press. Now we see again. This heating furnace is a straight for the fourth station.
So now I think you have already understand what's the difference of automatic and what's the difference of a semi-auto. Whatever you choose the automatic or semi-auto, Crystal can do, somebody also can do. This is the premise. And this is a high frequency printmaking machine. Just now I let you to look what's the difference for the high frequency preheating and the furnace. It is different. Different to raise and um, which one is uh, suitable for you. So let's talk about the furnace first. Then we talk preheating machine. Furnace. One day capacity is 5,000 pieces per day. And the quality requirements for the super high level and it is a whole body heating. When the work fits, when the products turn into the furnace, so it is a complete heating. So <laughs> the heating quality, it is very evenly. The third one, when the capacity is large, the production cost will be reduced. The heating furnace can use the natural gas heating, so it is a safe the electric cost also. For preheating machine, capacity is a 2000 to 2500 pieces per day. The pollution is a less than 100 million people and the main sales market it is in the domestic. This is suitable for you. Third one, quality requirements for higher grade. Less capacity but product size more. The preheating machine it is a stretch. But somebody will solve some heating machine, the table is a rotary, round rotary. What's the difference? Now, <coughs> the difference it is on the capacity. For the round station, for the round station, the capacity is very less, around 800 to 1,000 pieces per day. So this is why go for the Straight one, four work piece, preheating machine. <clears throat> I I went to many I went to many customer factories. Somebody will use the uh, impact bonding spool press to use the induction co cookware, and some other one will use the brazing machine, high frequency brazing machine to do the <clears throat> induction cooker. So what is the difference? The brazing machine, a special brazing powder is much at a high temperature, it then cooled down, widening the disc on the pan. The impact bonding, the disc is placed on the base of the vessel and the pass through of the impact bonding. Normally it is used 1,600 ton to 2,500 ton. It is, uh, depends on the uh, countries. Some countries that are uh, doing the maximum product is a 300 mm. But some countries like the Russia is uh, making a big pot for 450 mm. So it is also made the uh, friction school price more higher turn. For this two way, also can make the induction <coughs> cooker. Brazing machine use the brazing powder for the white powder and black powder. <clears throat> Why some factory is a more like the uh, is more like the uh, electric school press? I visit the Turkey country Tur Turkey factories. Um, I. I have never sold any brazen machine, high frequency brazen machine in that factory. 
All are for the fashion school press. Why? First one, it is long year cost guarantee. Another, it is environmental protection of and the social and the social responsibility. It had one day no need any resin powder. So this is why some Europe countries is uh, require the environmental protection. So how you choose? Resin machine and the impact bonding machine. The price, it is very different. But which one is suitable for you? Which one is it's good? How you choose? Have a look. Resin machine. It is a suitable for free ply, fine ply material. Then the production capacity around 1,500 pieces per day. It is depends on the size and depends on the aluminum thickness. And third one, aluminum this minimum thickness is uh, 1.5 mm. So it is very suitable for the some domestic market or for the village market. They are uh, popular for the aluminum this is very thin, about 1.5 mm. And uh, the fourth one, brazen machine has a free, free type, free kilowatt, 60 kilowatt, 135 kilowatt, 170 kilowatt. 60 kilowatt for 120 to 300 mm. And 135 kilowatt for 320 to 420 mm. And 170 kilowatt for 320 to 580 mm. For the impact bonding machine, it is suitable for pre price. The production capacity is a 5,000 pieces per day. Also, this is also depends on the size. And aluminum thickness, minimum thickness, it is 5 mm. Aluminum thickness, minimum 5 mm, it means impact bonding make a very higher, good quality pot. Fourth one, 2,500 ton for 160 to 280 mm. More feet five with four thousand turn, and the flight pot for the longer life use. More than the ten years water not break out because a brazen brazen machine it is used since the brazen powder like the glue, the glue to be make the free parts together to be fixed. But for the impact bonding, it is used a big force to punch together. So when you test the testing, te tensile testing, impact bonding pot, it is more kg for the ten ten tensile testing force than the bracing pot. So it means the bottom cap on the impact bonding pot not easy to take out. Whatever, Whatever you choose a braiding machine or whatever you choose the double disc operation screw press and whatever you choose the electric screw press semi-auto automatic we all can do our main mind it is uh, success with somebody we help customers thank you